Uh, are you ready? What are you doing? Working on my phone. But it's time to podcast. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. He's very, not in a very good mood, correct? No. We'll get to that. Okay, so. Good more afternoon. Dang, it's kind of getting late, isn't it? All right, so we have a lot going on. I have a whole lot of nothing, right? So it is Sorry, episode. It is not. <laughs> um, it's episode one forty-three. I think we really need to get that down before we do this. And it is July eighth. Woohoo! So episode from me across the head. That's we say saying. that every week. <laughs> okay, so let's start out within the barn stalls because it's been pretty interesting. RJ, anything, any new additions this week? Yup. Mm-hmm. What kind of new additions? How much? Two new calves Thursday. Tell us about it. We're eating ice cream. I've never hot. seen people before. Okay. Did it make I guess this ugly mug here just is really scary looking. <laughs> how good? How easy were they to handle? About as easy as a grizzly bear. Yep. Okay. So, and part of the problem is, is that I bought one a lot bigger than I normally do. Yep. So, um, out in that pen, we now have seven. I'll see if I can name them all. There's Delilah, the big girl, Big Red, Rosie Red, Wild Thing, Beastie, and Bully Boy. Yep. Now, each one of them has their own little issues. Delilah is going to be our little rideable cow, correct? Because she thinks she's fucking stock. She really doesn't have any issues. Other than she's a bottle baby, correct? Okay, so she gets fed three times a day. Um, Bully Boy is, um, he's got a dirty butt, and we found scours around the pen, so we think it's him. Okay? And he's also the first one that had, showed signs of coccidiosis, correct? Yep. They're all being treated for coccidia because it's contagious. Um, they'll just spin, spread it around. It's always in their systems, but they normally can deal with it, son, correct? Yep. So what happen, What makes them have an, an issue? Uh, stress. Yep, and that would definitely constitute stress coming here and leaving their moms, correct? Mm-hmm. So we just treat them all. One shows signs, and then we're done. So... Uh, Delilah is being treated for that. So is uh, Bully Boy, but Bully Boy also has scours. He's been given Spectaguard, correct? Yep. And it's probably time for another dose. That's probably why we're seeing some more. Um, if his doesn't clear up with the Spectaguard on the second go round, I'll pull him off of milk and have him on water for 24 hours a day and reset his system. So, um, reset. Yep, reset. Then Rosie Red, what's her problem? Uh, what kind of bottle does she get? Good with milk. Why? Because she's a uh, floozy, I guess. She's not a floozy. A floozy is somebody who wants to be with men all the time. She's oh. a picky eater. She's picky. Um, she is, come on, quit doing that. Pay attention. You can explain what you're doing here in a minute. Uh, She's a picky eater. She will not drink the powdered stuff. It doesn't matter how you mix it. If you mix it half goat's milk, half powder, how it works. She's not having any of it. It's either milk or nothing. So she'll be a goat, goat milk raised baby. She knows good stuff. Um, then, okay, what is with big girl? Which she one? got a little down. All right, the big one. That big, big one? Or the big, big one? 
big girl is the big one who came with the water. Ah, just the big one. Uh, What's her deal? She's a little down right now. Okay, you gave her a shot of what? Penicillin, vitamin. Okay. And she gets a little bottle feet in the morning. Just to perk her up. Well, to perk her up, number one. And number two, I can pop medicine in that bottle really easy. So, it helps, right? Okay. What about Big Red? He's a mean killing machine. No, oh, she's not. She just has to be um, Dr. Record every day. Yep. But she also goes to feed. Her and uh, Big Girl and Wild Thing all go to feed. Alright. Who haven't we talked about? I don't know. Oh, Beastie. Nope. What's her thing? She just got here Thursday? Yep. And when she was in the arena, even the auctioneer looked at me and went, it's going to need a lot of TLC. It's going to be a lot of TLC. Um, her mom is was not in good shape at all either. So, yeah. But she's here and she's getting a lot of TLC. Sorry, I'm finishing my ice cream. I'm hot. Right, RJ, tell about Wild Thing. She's crazy. She's crazy. Okay, why did I get Wild Thing? Because I told mom I'd take 180 pound kids. And I she did. But you also learned why mom didn't. It. Yep. Okay. So, handling kids has never seen people. Is that easy? Not like Chris Luna Grizzly Bear. <laughs> so. Okay, anything else going on in the barn stalls? Yes, we have baby girl in the barn. What is her issue? Um, she was really wormy. She got down this morning, so we got yep. her up at about wormy. We just kind of kind of missed that one busy with the bottle caps, correct? Yep. So we will be, I'm watching the cat. He lays so funny. And he's out there in the shade with his belly on the cold grass. Anyway, um, so baby girl is put up, and what are we going to do? I think Monday or Tuesday. Go get a different kind of warmer and try that. We're just going to work them all and be done with it. Um, then, I think that's all for in the barn stalls, isn't it? Poop, storm. Yep. Dirt's right, healed next. up. Everybody's healed up, I think. Right? What's next? Okay. Uh, I don't want to. Mending fences. That's repairs that we've done on the farm. We did some replacing the repairs. Okay, what do we replace? My phone. Yeah. But that's kind of personal and that's in the farmhouse. Uh, what next. happened this morning? Oh, we chopped the tree down. Okay, so we're going to stop and put in a little clip of what we did this morning. Okay, so chainsaw and truck this time. The chainsaw and truck in it right now. Come on, Jace. Come on, tree. Yeah. <gasps> Come on, Mr. Tree. Come on, tree. Yeah. Come on, old tree. Come on. Come on. <gasps> and it's down. <laughs> and it's down, isn't it, little man? Yeah. Who did that? Jace did. Jace did that, and Toby's safe. And holy smokes, look at that. Told you. Yep, it didn't hit my house, did it? Nope. All right, let's go up there and check it out. Come on. Okay. We can go check it out now. It's it's fine. It's fine. Yep, yeah, and it's not going to follow my house no more. Is it? Nope. Yeah. Sorry. 
<laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, it's a big tree. Big, big tree. And it was falling on our house and it had to come down. And then yesterday we had a, a and we'll get, get to it more in the farmhouse, but we had a big hailstorm yesterday. And it was like a wreck. Yeah. It's been a wooly. What did I say? A, a wild and woolly last few days. So, um, yeah, the big tree came down. Um, we'll be fixing the fence. RJ and I are going to move the fence a little bit. Um, and we'll go out there and talk to you a little bit more about that as we do it. But pretty much we're just going to cut off from the corner of the house to the new barn so that there's no section division. So you don't have to go through a gate, into a gate, to another gate. Um, then the other side will cut off at the porch and our back door will just open to the big pasture correct so anyway all right in the yard farm what have i done in the yard farm? i haven't done any i haven't been washing any of that stuff i haven't been spinning i haven't had time to do any of that just kind of been doing the bottle caps and and trying to get i've got a consignment spin i've got to get done and get out of here um i've been trying to get a uh, set of barefoot sandals done so there I just have to get a few more rows I'm trying to work on my um, I like to put one big piece into the uh, fair and I'm behind on it so I really haven't been doing anything in the yard farm besides visits and um, that kind of stuff and then just trying to maintain at this point so uh, yeah it is what it is, just saying. All right, so what else is up next, son? He doesn't know. I don't know, do I ever pay attention? I know, he's too preoccupied. Mm. All right, in the field, I did, I started to get some cucumbers in, correct? I have not been down there today um, because I've been preoccupied with the other stuff out here, but I have not been down to the garden and it took a big hit of hail yesterday so my plants are beat up but I don't know how bad um, I've been harvesting some dragon's egg cucumbers and some orange cucumbers I have no idea what kind they are um, yeah I think I have that picture if I have that picture it will appear right I got scared when I found the orange cucumber because I didn't think I was supposed to have any so I harvested those other little ones beside it, but um, I called my lady that helps me, and she said, just feed them to the pig. She's they're probably not ripe yet, but just feed them to the pig. The pig will eat them. Come on, get up. Um, but we got the fire pit in. I don't know if we got the fire pit in this week or last week. It's been a long week. Oh, we did it last week. We um, talked about the whole week of bury your body. That's right, okay. Um, then... What else did we do? Uh -huh. I haven't gotten down there to mow. <sighs> it's raining several days. Um, just like, just enough to make it so you can't do too much. So, um, the front has to be mowed and I haven't gotten it done. It is what it is, isn't it, son? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, what is up next? I'm actually peeking into the book. I just can't think. I'm back on my focus, too, by the way, because can't think too much going on um okay in the farmhouse and on the porch and off to market which off to market we actually have some stuff in today so um in the farmhouse what is going on that you're so preoccupied star bit my thumb so it could have kind of been in the barn stalls but i didn't see it so i have no proof that my horse did this i did she did it and carried it out from it and threw it and made the screen quit working. Where is that phone to show him? Because he's not. Ki oh, it's tore all apart, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna try and, and save the screen. And it yeah, was try to take the screen off of it. Anyway. And you can't take the screen off of it. Um, you can't get it replaced. So, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it, son? Mm -hmm. Um. So, what does that mean for you? Because you always had a Windows phone. You had yes. a fancy Windows phone. Well. Uh, it came down to the fact that I had to pay to have that tree taken down. There were other bills, and how important was your phone? It's important to you, but how important Not was your really phone? Important. Okay, 
So on the scope of our family stuff, our phones are not that important. So what did you do? Went and got a cheap one. Yep, went and got one for what, 1988? Yeah, 20 bucks. But it's an Android. It's a There's no such thing as a cheap Windows phone, it's which is fine. You get your Facebook, you've got your stuff. Mm -hmm. The problem comes from what? Trying my contacts from that phone to there. As long as that's the screen, they said it was impossible. But I have an old Windows phone that's fried, but it has contacts on it. It's part of them. It doesn't have all of them. It has some of them. That I can link to. And I can't download the apps that talk to each other because they're different kinds of phones. And I can't even get my freaking Facebook to sync to this thing so I can get part of my contacts. I'm just stuck with nothing. I have 600 contacts. Do we recommend Windows phones now? No. No. They're cool. Um, they do operate and look a lot like your computer. But that's about the extent of it, isn't it? So if anybody has any tips on how to get an Android to sync to Facebook, let me know. I really need it. Yeah. Because okay. I had to get me some of my contacts. And it doesn't even bring up, like when we went to settings and that, it'll let you sync with your Google and let you sync with your thing, but it won't let you sync with the Facebook. I have no idea why. So, but it is what it is, right? How many contacts you got now out of 624? I have, let's see here, 39. Slow going. But that's okay. He's got them in this one. And not part of them. You just can't call at them. So he I can, can just look up somebody that's a and dial it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So he's got a way to contact them, which is important because so. all of his radio stuff is in that phone. Say. Anyway, so what else went on in the farmhouse? The big tree came down, right? Um, what's Dad doing? Cutting on the big tree. Is he happy about it? No. He's mad, mad, mad. He told me, I I paid a young man to come up. He has a five-week-old baby at home. And he got laid off in June. And he needed some things to do. He's been picking up side jobs to take care of his family. And, uh, yeah. So, um, he needed some work. I needed that tree down. And him and his buddy came up. And they did it. Lee had been chomping on it and telling me he was going to. But the final straw was, what happened yesterday, son? Uh, hailstorm came and then I went to shake. We had the intern here. And another it, this storm, it went from 93 degrees. Her and I were out. We had harvested the uh, Cucumber. cucumbers. We had taken the pigs and the dogs out to go to the bathroom. We noticed that it started to sprinkle. And she's like, don't you just love the smell of what it smells like out here before it rains? And I said, yes, I do. And she said, it's so different than in the city. And I said, yes. And we had this talk about, you know, the, the smell of rain and all that kind of stuff. And then um, RJ got home. We grabbed our little red tub thing. She had been creating in the kitchen. And it kind of got hot in here, so we went outside because it's hotter outside than when you come in, it feels cooler. So, um, we were going to go get the eggs, and the next thing we know, RJ came in and he says, you know, it's raining. I think while you guys go out and do whatever, I'm going to go and put up those calves. He says, I just don't want them getting soaked to the bone, and it looks like it's going to be, you know, a really good downpour. RJ got from the back door halfway across to that pen, and what happened? Started hailing. It and I'm not talking just hail here and there. I'm talking a downpour of hail. And the hail, I have a video clip. Um, it's on the GoPro though, and I don't think I don't know if you can see it. My phone was dead, I couldn't get it to video. Um, so I tried to take it. If that's a good clip, or even if it's not, I might put a little clip in right here. Okay, so Belle and I are here. It was Friday. Nice and sunny, we went and harvested the um, garden, and then all of a sudden Hank acted like it was going to storm, and this is what we got. RJ is out in this, um, keeping a horse up and under a, a cow stall because we don't have enough stalls, but it is hailing. The white stuff that you see on the rug, and 
out there in the um, pasture jumping is actually hail. I'm going to go and try and get, I'm going to put a towel over my head. Okay, so I'm through it. All of that is hail. Um, ouch. When it hits my legs, it hurts. Just so when you hear me say ouch, that's because it's hitting me. Look at here on the ground, all of that hail jumping. It is raining and hailing. And you can just see it bouncing along out there. Lovely July storm. <laughs> so, and there's our Jay coming in. So I'm going back in the house. There's the storm chasers. You can see that truck just went by. There's a van. Um, all the local people will be out storm chasing, making sure there's no tornado or anything. But I am going back in the house. Okay, so that happened, and Belle was in the house. I made her stay, and when the hail hit, RJ was having trouble getting some of the newer calves to go up underneath the shed. They weren't wanting to, and then um, we had to pen them in, and Storm was so scared. She was physically shaking, and she wouldn't get up underneath. She, she was taking being pelted with the hail as opposed to getting up underneath the shed because the shed had 10 uh, roofs on them. And so she, she was just petrified. Um, she didn't want to be underneath the shed because of the sound, but she didn't want to be outside because of the hail. And she was literally taking a beating. Now, son, why was this so important yesterday? Because I was going to ride her last night for a rodeo. He had a rodeo yesterday, and he didn't want her getting sore by being pelted with this. So I boogity boogity out there. Every other step, it was like, ouch, ouch, ouch. Huh. It was kind of funny. He had on long uh, pants. It hurt not so much like when it hit my shirt. I could barely feel it. But when it hit on my skin, holy cow, that stung. Um, one hit the side of my finger that really, I mean, I could feel it a lot. Um, I can't feel it now. I just, it turned it red for a little bit, and then it quit hurting. And then there was one that hit when I was running out there on the side of my face right on my ear and that hurt like to a point that I was like whoa um my first thought is it went in my ear but it didn't and it's still this the little flat there on the front of your ear is still sore but not anything I'm still pushing that it's not obviously killing me so it was fine where did it hit you son did uh, you get hit with hail yeah. he kept saying every piece of hail that really hit me hit me in the head We've decided he has a big head. <laughs> he got a new hat, so he doesn't want me touching the hat. Show him the hat. Come on. Yep. KG. What does that stand for? Devin George. It's his boss. His boss cared enough to give him a wonderful hat. So um, it's Kevin George Performance Horses. Correct. Yep. All right. Then anything else? Oh, sorry, got off track. Um, Belle was in the house with all that hail coming down, and you could hear the old tree shake and creak, and it really was eerie, and it just needed to come down. So that was taken. Um, are you really frustrated? Well, I did, but it said it still didn't work. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh. All right, I think that's all. Yes, we had a storm, hail storm. The tree is down. Lee will be working on it. If there's anybody out there that wants to volunteer and come bring your chainsaw and cut it up, you can do that too, right? Yeah. We won't have to worry about firewood this winter. So, right? Right. Um, and then we're going to move the fences too, correct? Yep. So, uh, all right. What's up next on the porch? Woo. Oh no, we're not done. We have to do our drawing. Oh. Okay, I can't get to it while we're recording. Okay, we'll post a small video clip of the drawing with the winner because I can't do more than one thing. At a time. That's right. Um, so we will post that right after we post this. Okay, 
So it's not that we, it won't be put in here. We will just post it as a separate video, winter video, because I can't do two more than one thing at a time. <sighs> That's so simple. I know. He's Fun like, I'm multitasking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I'm not doing a very good job of it either, but hey, I'm trying. Um, what is the last thing that we did? It's off to market. Nope. Do you remember? Nope. What is on the list? Oh, we uh, opened up a new shop, folks. Go buy stuff. We are not going to sell on Etsy. Um, they are feeding everyone to death. You can't find anything. So if you follow us, those are the people that we find um, purchase our products. We have yet to find a total stranger that, that purchases our products. All of our requests are from people who have actually gotten their hands on our product, either through a festival or a um, coming here or um, something like that so we did a full-fledged online shop um, I haven't figured out how to do PayPal how to link PayPal to it so right now it just takes credit cards um, we can take PayPal if you want us to invoice you. so if you want an order we can send you an invoice and you can just take care of it so that is an option, and I'm working on getting that up there. We kind of like the look of it, so check out um, farmontheprairie.com, and then click to the online store. And the other thing that we have is we have um, e-gift certificates, and we will honor them no matter where you um, spend them. So if you want to spend them online, I don't know how they work quite yet. I know that you're sent a code, and then you can do it online. But if you bring it, if you're local and you bring it to the farmer's market or here to the farm, we will honor it. Just saying. Um, so, anyway, uh, we will honor it anywhere we want. I don't know what the online thing says. It's kind of new to us, and we're figuring out as we go. So, um, and we haven't had anybody purchase one yet. So, it is what it is. Um, we're very happy with it. So, go up. If you go to farmontheprairie.com. Go to the top right hand side, it'll say online. There's a little drop down that says e gifts or gift cards. I can't remember what it says. And then, of course, you can click on the online shop and go check out our online shop. Right now, the quantities of everything is limited. I'm waiting for more soaps to cure. Remember, I do everything the old fashioned way. I don't, um, you get to hear about them four to six weeks before they show up anywhere. Um, so, we do have some things available. The other thing that I want to say is about shipping. Um, if I add in shipping, I have to do it at the price level or they only allow for a flat rate. So we have put on a flat rate of $5, but we will make good if it only comes to a couple of dollars. I think it's $3, I'm sorry, $3. But we will make good if it only comes to a couple dollars to send. We won't charge you. you know, I, I can't make it do actual. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if we need to change something with um, shipping, we will. We just have to figure it out. We've always just done Etsy. So it's kind of, and eh, we're learning. Um, but... Anyway, go check it out, right? Anything else, mister? He's moving his contacts. He's trying to Bluetooth them. It's quiet when he has technical difficulties, isn't he? You can't think and talk at all. <laughs> what do you mean you can't think and talk at all? How does this thing confusing? I think part of the confusion comes from going from a Windows phone to an Android and then back to an Android because he can't figure out my phone half the time either. So, yeah. It is what it is, ain't it? Yeah.